Hello, all dear students. Let's see this question number 3.33 of Eredo from Electrodynamics. The question states, very thin round plate of radius R carrying a uniform surface charge density sigma is located in vacuum. Find the electric field potential and strength along the plate's axis as a function of distance z from the center. Investigate the obtained expression at z tending to zero and z much, much larger than radius of the disk. So obviously, this has to be a non-conducting uh, disk otherwise the surface charge density will adjust according to its geometry it will be more at the edges and less at the center because it is uniform so it has to be a non-conducting disk and this is a direct result we normally use in uh, while teaching for IIT JE but here we will get the derivation of that result so we have a non-conducting disk of a uniform surface charge density sigma and radius is r this is r and at an axial point suppose this is the axis of the disk at a distance uh, z from the center we have to find electric potential and electric field so i can do i can find expression for the potential and for electric field i can just differentiate that thing. that way i can also get the electric field or else I can use that integration also. So uh, to get the potential at this point and axial point at distance z from the center, I have divided this disk into uh, little little rings whose radius is uh, 2 r plus t r. So this is an elemental ring whose radius is r and thickness is dr. That is the normal way to proceed when we have to uh, disk is there then the elemental elements are the ring if we have a sphere solid sphere then our elements would be disk and so on so this is a uh, our element that is a ring so area of this element is uh, you just cut that ring and uh, straighten that ring the length will become 2 pi r and thickness is dr so area will be 2 pi r dr this area da is 2 pi r dr and in a unit area the charge is sigma that is what the surface charge and state so charge on this ring would be uh, sigma da and sigma da is sigma 2 pi r dr and any point of this ring elemental ring is at the same distance from the that point p and uh, let me use a uh, better color so visibility is more so any point of the ring is at a distance say this distance is t so all points are at the same distance from the ring all points of the ring are same distance from p so electric potential at p because of this elemental ring would be dv is equal to uh, k dq divided by t and what is k? We know k is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. dq is sigma 2 pi r dr divided by uh, that t. And now I can write the value of t. t, you can see here, this t is a square root of uh, z square plus r square. And this will get cancelled that will be 2 so this dv now i have how much dv is sigma r dr divided by 2 epsilon naught square root of z square plus r square we'll have to make substitution so let me make the substitution as a u is equal to i am taking substitution u is equal to square root of uh, z square plus r square so if i differentiate this so du by dr first i will get this whole thing 2 square root of z square plus r square z is constant r is variable and then differentiate whatever inside that is square root that will be 2r so that two two cancel. So you can see that this du is equal to r divided by square root of z square plus r square into dr. So in place of this whole thing, I can just put du. That's what I have obtained. So dv is equal to 
sigma by 2 epsilon naught uh, du. Now I will integrate it with suitable limit. So see, when r is r varies from 0 to capital R. So when r is 0, here when r is 0, uh, u is how much? u is z. And when r is equal to capital R, u is equal to square root of r square plus capital R square plus z square. And here the only variable is u. So if we integrate it from the lower limit, which is uh, uh, z to upper limit, upper limit is square root of z square plus r square, we will get the expression for potential v is equal to v is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught square root of z square plus r square minus z. That is the expression for the potential. Now we have to find the electric field. Obviously, the symmetry of the situation tells that the electric field has to be along this direction, along the axial direction. So here, if the electric field is E, and using the relationship between potential and electric field, I can write uh, E is equal to uh, minus del V by del Z. And obviously, that is basically the EZ. And the symmetry of situation is telling that the E X and E Y 0. So, E net is EZ. So, just differentiate this thing and we will get sigma upon 2 epsilon naught. And this z differentiation is 1, that is 1 minus is outside, so 1 minus z upon square root of z square plus r square. So we have done expression for the potential sigma upon 2 epsilon naught square root of z square plus r square minus uh, z. And expression for the electric field along axis sigma upon 2 epsilon naught. 1 minus z upon square root of z square plus r square. And we have to investigate these results for uh, z tending to 0 and z much, much larger than r. So when z tend to 0, so here you can see that z tend to 0. Basically, z tending to 0 mean I am at the center, near center, you can say. So near center. So here, what you will do, just put a z is equal to 0 here, z is equal to 0 here. So that will be approximated to simply r. So potential will become, uh, v will become sigma upon 2 epsilon naught into z. Uh, sorry, not z, that z part is going to 0, so then to r. And same here, if uh, I approximate z to be 0, so this will be 10 to 0 and denominator will tend to uh, a finite number, so 0 divided by finite number is 0. So then electric field will tend to sigma by 2 epsilon. And when z tend to, uh, sorry, z is much, much larger than r. So practically, what does that mean that we are at a point which is much, much uh, larger than the radius of the disk. So basically from that point, the disk will appear as a point charge. So uh, directly without using that thing, I can say that at that point, potential will be kq by z. Uh, k is 1 over 4 by epsilon naught. Q is the total charge. And z is always resistant. And same with the electric field is kq by z square. That should come. And But here I want to use the binomial part. So here, uh, let me write this v sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And here what we will do? z is very large compared to r so here i will take uh, z outside the this square root so that will be uh, 1 plus r square by z square obviously power 1 by 2 minus z this is sigma by 2 epsilon naught and r is much much smaller than z so that will become z into 1 plus r square by 2 z square minus z and sigma by 2 epsilon naught, this z and z will get cancelled. So what we'll get, this will be r square by 2z. And that's what I told. Uh, if we simplify, you will get basically kq by z. And same way for the electric field. For the electric field again here, uh, sigma upon 2 epsilon naught, 1 minus z. 
and from the denominator the same way i have taken z outside here if i take z outside so that will be z into 1 plus r square by z square power 1 by 2 this z z gets cancelled so sigma by 2 epsilon naught 1 minus and that will become 1 plus r square by z square power minus half and use the binomial uh, approximation sigma by 2 epsilon naught 1 minus 1 minus r square by 2z square so expression for the electric field will become e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught n2 r square by 2z square now that is what we have got the expression for the electric field and potential. Thank you.